Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick overview of my latest RC purchase, this Maximum BX buggy from Duratrax. I have quite a few RC vehicles, mostly airplanes, but this is the first one I decided to share because there's almost nothing about it on YouTube. It's around 20 years old and it ran for the first time about a week ago. I picked it up on eBay for just under 200 bucks. Now you're probably wondering, why this car? Well, I'll tell you. It was the first hobby-grade car I ever owned. And I had a blast with it back in the day. So when I saw a never-run example appear on eBay, I just had to have it. I've taken a break from the RC hobby from about 2001 till 2011. I bought two other RC cars since then. A Red Cat Tornado and this X-Ray XB2 buggy. Here it is. Most glow cars nowadays, my Tornado included, look like clones of each other, which is different wheels and bodies, depending on what kind of vehicle it's supposed to be. Don't get me wrong, the Tornado is a lot of fun, but the handling of the X-Ray is an entirely different league. And this Max BX has a layout very similar to this X-Ray, as opposed to the four-wheel drive longitudinal layout you see on just about all the other 10-scale glow cars these days. Okay, let's get this baby undressed and have a look. Просто так, котенок. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how uncluttered the insides of this car are. We got the transverse engine. Show them the engine. Yeah. What? No. Right here. Sitting in the middle, driving the rear wheels. The small muffler. Shooting the exhaust right out the back. Oil filled shocks on all four corners. Where are the shocks? Remember I was doing them yesterday? Okay, so this is, it's so pointy and... Oh, you're, you're doing the review now too? Okay, okay. What do you have to say about it? Um, the inside right there is pointy and it's pretty stripy and look at the shape. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool shape. That's to keep it cold actually. All the heat comes out of that pointy, um, well no, the pointy is the glow plug actually. Mm -hmm, the and stripes, the stripes is what the heat comes out of. And It's got this uh, fuel tank. Where's the fuel tank? Come on, you know where the fuel tank is. No. There you go. See, it's got the fuel in it. So, it's clear, and it has, like, a staple right there. Like that is down. called the priming button. Careful with that. If you push it, that pushes fuel into the engine to make it easier to start. You don't see that on a lot of newer cars. Engine is uh, made by Duratrax as well. They call it Torque with a Q, I believe. Size is .12. And it's one of the most reliable glow engines I've ever dealt with. My first one of these made it into two other cars after the Max buggy it came in. This one runs pretty good, except it leaks excessively out of the front bearing. So it has something orange on the bottom, and I don't know what it is. So it has... Where? Show me the orange. Oh, that? That's the fuel, and I'd say it's rather pink. Yeah, the fuel for these cars is pink in color. Anyways, that fuel leaks out of the front of the motor a little too much, so I'm going to have to tear it down and measure that bearing, see if I can order a sealed bearing for it. And so, the, the bottom pushed down, because it has some fun stuff there, and... The, the fun stuff is called shocks. Remember, they're called shocks. So, this is like a paper clip, and... But it's 
supposed to open the car? Exactly. It holds the car closed. When you pull it out, you can open it. So, this is really fun. This is a really fun wire. And this is like something that's supposed to move in the airplane. Well, that's right. You know airplanes have them too. They're called servos. See the black rectangle box on the bottom? That's the motor that moves it. There you go. Yep, airplanes have them too. Just take it easy. Don't move it too hard or you could break it. All right. These aren't the servos it came with. And this isn't the receiver it came with either. So, uh -huh. the middle is hard for this. And the size is soft for this. That's the air filter. That's so only clean air makes it into the engine. Yes. And so, it's hard on the bottom but it it's hard in the middle but it's off to the side mm -hmm. okay let's see what else do we have steering servo see you can steer the wheels and, and they're steered by this servo and this is a great little servo it's the same one i have in this uh, x-ray buggy over here um, okay so way better than what came with it so it took like half a day for the front wheels to turn with the old so servo things make it up and down just like the front right yes yeah, so let me see it down okay so this is how it bounces forward and this is how it bounces backwards yep that's so it can go over bumps right mm -hmm. and i took these shocks apart washed all the little pieces real carefully then dried them out and put some new oil in it 40 weight in the front, 50 weight in the back. I also took apart the transmission. Bet you don't know where the transmission is. So. No, uh, uh, do you? Do you know where the transmission is? Hmm. Do you want me to show you where the transmission is? It's this one? No, that's the receiver, not the transmitter. That's like the exact opposite. <laughs> transmission is back here, it's this black box. Okay, so yep. this is the transmitter and it's so black. No, this is the transmitter. <laughs> that is the transmission. Confusing, I know. So the transmission is so, so black and it has like a switch. And right here, this is the, the XB. Very close. Upside down, it's XB. But right side up, was it? what does it say? Well, what's XB backwards? Oh, you know, Mama, I know. Okay. Well, it's bedtime for little ones. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Um, yeah. Um, that's all there is to say about it. Neat little buggy. And uh, hopefully I'll shoot some video of running it at the local track. Thanks a lot and have a good night.